Good. Hello viewers, welcome to our class again. We're just having classes bit by bit. We could just have a whole session, but again, we limit our classes to a, a maximum of six lessons. That way we're having uh, as lessons that are taking six minutes per lesson. Now, today's class, we get to look at the unit of believers and we get to look at the symbolic expression of the unit of believers. Now today we get to look at the vine and the branches, right? The vine and the branches, the vine and the branches. Now remember, we have looked at the, 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 the body of Christ, good. We have looked at the people of God, who are the people of God. We also looked at the vine, uh, sorry, the, 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 the body of Christ. Now today we'll get to look at the vine and the branches class what we expect by the end of the lesson we do expect that we are able to discuss the illustration of the vine and branches in the unit of believers can you get to read john 15 1 to 10 15 1 to 10 now as our image there you can see the grapes right in exquisite nasema ni mizabibu right Mizabibu. Though, here, sasa mizabibu. So yeah, we, we are going to a Swahili lesson again. Here ni mizabibu. In Swahili we call, we, we call them mizabibu. Right? Now, the vine and the branches. Right? Remember, a vine has the fruits, has also the branches. What are they now? Good? Now, vine tree was a tree that was uh, always gave out uh, grapes or, or it bore grapes. Now, what does the vine represent? The vine represents Jesus. Good, you saw that. The vine represents Jesus. The vine tree was a symbol of prosperity and peace. Remember, a vine tree, it bows grapes. Right? Muzabibu, huza mizabibu. Right? The grapes now. Right? It is, it is, it is a symbol of prosperity. Look, let me take you back to that image. Look at that. Look at the grapes. Right, that have come out from the the, the 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 vine, right? The vine and the branches. So, the vine, the vine, the vine represents the vine represents Jesus, and and our vine tree was a symbol of prosperity and also peace. Now, Jesus is the vine, and the fa Father is the vine dresser. Christians, believers are the branches. Look at that. Hey. What does that mean? Jesus is the vine. The Father, who is God, is the vine dresser. Christians, or believers, are the branches. Look at that connection. Right? Jesus is connecting the branches to the vine dresser. Right? So you cannot, that's what they say, you cannot go to God without going through Jesus Christ, right? So Jesus Christ is connecting the believers to to Father, to, 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 to his Father. That is God, right? Now, Christians are expected to produce good fruits by remaining faithful and united in, in, in Christ. Do you think if the, the branches cannot remain united, right, to the vine, do you think it will get to produce fruits? It will not, right? Now, that is why in John, it's telling us that Christians, we are the branches. We should remain united, right, for, for us to bear good fruits. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that image. Can you get to see that? Jesus is the vine. A good illustration, right? God is the vine dresser. Right? And we are the branches. Now, we have given fruits. Remember, it is not Jesus who is going to give fruits. Right? It is Christians who are going to give fruits. We are going to bear fruits. And it will be good fruits. Fruits of prosperity. Good? Now, faithful branches bear fruits like good, uh, like good Christians. While unfaithful branches are like unfruitful Christians. Now, Christians should remain united to Christ. 
who is the vine so as to bear good fruits. Look at that. Look at that. What does what does what does John 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 six three say? That I am the vine. You are the branches. He that stays in me, and I in him, the same brings forth much fruit. For without me, you cannot do nothing. Can we can we recite that uh, that verse? That I am the vine, you are the branches. He that stays in me, and I in him, the same brings forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. That is John 6, 5. No, no, class, can you get to memorize that verse? Get to memorize that verse. Now, the dead branches of the vine trees are cut off, and the living ones are trimmed or pruned. This is done that the vines may, may, may produce high yield. Likewise, unfaithful Christians, believers, are rebuked and corrected so as to bear high yields. If you don't bear fruits, what do you think? The vine dresser will, will, will get to prune you out. Look at that. Look at what the vine, the, the, the vine dresser is doing. The vine dresser is pruning, right? Those branches that are not giving fruits. Look at that. Look at those other branches that have given good fruits, right? And look at what the vine dresser is doing. He's pruning those branches that are not giving fruits. That's what God does. But again, God gives us a chance to bear good fruits, right? God gives us fertilizers. He, he just cultivates. He weeds continuously for us to give good fruits. Class, for our assignment, who is the vine dresser? Who is the vine dresser? For our reference, get to refer to the uh, reference that is on our screen. And as always, this is a limited TV your favorite learning channel where we all get to watch and learn. Thank you all for attending our lesson and get in touch with Elimu TV. More lessons coming in. Let us keep Elimu TV your favorite learning channel where you get to watch and learn. This was your teacher, Roger Shira. Thank you all and bye bye for now.